Hey guys, so I am starting this first look off with a primer. This is Too Faced Shadow Insurance, and I'm applying that all over my lid, and I actually do this before each of these looks, so I won't be showing this step again. This first look is an all matte eye look, and so I'm gonna start with the shade 13, which is a light matte cream, and I place that in my inner corner and on my brow bone. Next, I move into the light, kind of pinky leaning brown called Combust, and I pat that all over my lid before moving into the mid tone gray matte shade called Password that I put not only in my outer corner, but I also blend throughout my crease and also wiggle on my lower lash line for a little bit of definition there. Adding the final new shade to this mix, I'm going in with the Dagger, which is the deep, dark, blue-leaning gray, and patting that just in the outer corner with the narrow end of the brush that comes with this palette, and then using the fluffier end to blend that out. Then just to make sure the shade on the rest of my lid pops, I'm going back into Combust and patting that all over the inner half of my eyelid. On to lashes, this is Sigma's Monumental Lash, and once again, the last time you'll see this step because it is the mascara that I use in all three of these looks, but I do use a different brow product in some instances. So right now I am going in with IT Cosmetics Brow Power and filling and shaping my brows before I move on to the face where once again, I will be using Makeup Forever's HD Stick Foundation and Charlotte Tilbury's The Retoucher for both foundation and concealer for all three of these looks. On to the rest of the face, I reached for the It Cosmetics Vitality Face Disc and I'm using the bronzer shade in there in the contours of my cheeks, into my temples and underneath my jawline and then I'm following that up with the blush in that palette and placing it just above the bronzer but not quite on top of my cheekbones. I am saving that space for a highlighter that I have been absolutely loving lately. It is Becca's Shimmering Skin Perfector in the shade Opal, and I am applying that to the tops of my cheekbones, down the bridge of my nose, the tip of my nose, and slightly on my chin. Last are the lips, and I use Bare Minerals Pretty Amazing Lip Color in the shade Courage. It's kind of a mix between a liquid lipstick and a gloss, super comfy on the lips, and it just complemented this look perfectly. And once the lips are on, the look is complete. It's pretty nice that you can get an all matte, very wearable, everyday look from this palette, but it's also capable of some smokier looks. So let's get started with look two. Like I said, I prime with Too Faced Shadow Insurance to start, and then I'm moving into the shade High and using a somewhat flat shader brush to pat that in my inner corner and about over the first half of my eyelid. Flipping that brush over, I'm going into the shade Armor and patting that on the other half of my eyelid and making sure to take that down onto my lower lash line as well. Then I go in with a fluffy blending brush and go back into that shade Combust from the first tutorial and use that to blend my crease out. Now to get really smoky in that outer corner, I'm taking a more precise brush and going into the shade Black Market, tapping that right in there and using a fluffier brush to blend it out. And then I'm also lining with a black liner. This is from Marc Jacobs, and I'm applying that to the outer half of my upper lash line and smudging that out, and also going in and applying it to my lower waterline as well. The mascara, brows, foundation, and concealer are all the same from the previous look, but for the cheeks, I am just going in with one color. This is from the City Color Intense Blush Quad. It's the collection of four. It's a bunch of peaches, and I'm basically just applying that to the tops of my cheekbones. I am also pairing it with the same Becca highlighter, though, and so I'm applying that to the tippy tops of my cheekbones, down the bridge of my nose, and Cupid's bow. You know the drill. And once again, last are the lips. This is a Milani Amore Matte Lip Cream in the shade Beloved. It's what I was wearing when I reviewed these guys. So you can go ahead and check out a link to that in the info bar below. But once you have your lips on, you are done. This next look is quite a bit smokier and involves a little bit more of the colors in this palette. Namely, the first one I'm starting off with is this shade Smolder. It's this deep black and plum. Once again, I started this with the primer so that black and plum really is intensified. And I'm using a flat shader brush to pat that all over the moving part of my eyelid as well as my lower lash line. Then I'm going in with a fluffy brush and that trusty crease shade Combust, using that to blend Smolder into my crease. And then to brighten up my inner corner, I'm going in with High from the last look and patting that really specifically in my inner corner so it doesn't overwhelm and de-smoke the rest of the eye look. 
The rest of this eye look is super simple. I am patting the silver shade called Slanted on the center of my lid for some instant dimension and then going in with the same mascara as before to finish off the eyes. For the brows, I am doing something different. This is the Milani Stay Put Brow Color in the shade Brunette that I recently reviewed and I'm using the brush that comes with that to once again fill and shape and define my brows. Capping off the last look as usual are the lips. This is from the brand La Bella Donna and it is a lip gloss in the shade Cloister Sunrise. Absolutely beautiful and a nice balance to an intense smoky look. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. A lot of you have been asking about these looks. Have you seen them in different videos? So I hope this was helpful. Thanks so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Bye.